Good morning, we are with Michael Cade. Uh, Michael, can you just introduce yourself for us? Hi, so yeah, I'm Michael Cade. I'm a technical evangelist at Beam Software. Uh, we're here at the Veeamon Forum today. Um, Michael, our first question here is, Microsoft's Azure's new local data centers have been built in South Africa. Um, in what way can businesses leverage these new public clouds? So, I, I guess the first iteration of people going in to start, to start um, utilizing these, these new Azure public cloud data centers is going to be around potentially not going big bang into, the, into using them, they're still going to have their on-premises solution, but also to just burst, it, burst a workload into, start, uh, into that public cloud. And I guess that's, that will be the first iteration, then you're going to have the, the likes of test and development, and then before long you'll probably see companies move um, move their entire workload into the cloud if it's if it's possible. And what are some of the benefits for companies to be doing this? So I guess the, the first thing is that burst of a workload. You don't have to have that um, that capital expenditure on hardware when it's sat on premises. You can burst that workload into this operational expense rather than having to have that physical tin purchased on on premises. Even if it's not being used, you've still paid that, that capex. Um, and do you rate this will um, aid in the growth of South African SMEs? So, yeah, I think it gives a lot more diversity into into how people can start utilising and, and growing their, their IT footprint, but may also making things a lot more economical to, to one burst that workload, but also test and development. It, it, it's going to really give a much broader footprint to the to the IT community it has done over the, the world and I think that's the, the same thing will happen to you guys in, in South Africa it's, it's the, the ability to start leveraging those benefits of, of the public cloud do you think initially it will be the larger organizations that take advantage of it first and the smaller ones to follow so possibly yeah I think the enterprises are probably the guys that that are being spoken spoken to about the, the offerings but I think there'll be a, a certain handful of smaller SMEs that look to do things different and they'll be the ones that the early adopters and with that they'll be they'll be ahead of the, the curve potentially and start leveraging that, that, um, that offering. And uh, what do you think the negatives would be for companies who fail to take advantage of these offerings? So I don't think as a negative, we've been doing the same uh, capex model on premises for, for a lot of years. I don't think there's going to be any downside. It's just they're not going to potentially save the same amount of money or get the same benefits that these other guys are going to get from a scalability point of view, being able to burst that workload into into that. So it's all about cloud. making it cheaper, more accessible, and growth. As yeah, well. exactly that. Okay, um, and can you speak a bit about? Um, how Veeam are going to integrate uh, Microsoft Azure packages? So one of the big things from, from our point of view is, so obviously from a virtualization point of view, we've, we've well established in the VMware and Hyper-V on-premises solution, but we recognize that people are moving into the, into the public cloud, the hyperscalers, even service provider infrastructure as a service. So I guess with that, we're, we recognize that, and that's where our agents will come in from an Azure platform point of view, the ability to uh, back up those workloads, but also for those early adopters being able to take those on-premises backups using our, our direct restore to Microsoft Azure, being able to send that backup data into an, an Azure VM, convert that and, and have that up and running for test and development. So kind of giving the option to the guys that have that on-premises solution to be able to spin up the workload, test it against how it looks, how does it feel in Azure, and potentially run that development cycle in there, and then maybe later with a, a with a uh, an intention of, of migrating that workload into into Azure. Do you guys have any sort of timeline on when this will be operating? So we already have Direct Restore to Microsoft Azure. This uh, first release was a separate pro product or feature within our within our portfolio. Now it's built into Beam Backup and Replication. So Whereas before we had to have a working moving part within Azure, we had to have a VM up there to do that conversion. You had to send the VBK file up. Um, now we've got that built into our on-premises VBR solution, so you can you can do the conversion in the same interface that you 
run your daily backups and, and replication tasks. Hey Michael, finally in concluding here, just a, a quick word on Young South Africa at the VMON Forum. Are you excited about it? Can you just give us our thoughts on the... On yeah, it? so my first time down here, right? And the uh, I'm really excited to hear how, like, from a business point of view, the business track and how things are portrayed there from from our, from our own guys, but also our, our partner community that are also speaking, our alliances. And then from a technical track is how how you how the South African market is actually um, leveraging our products and, and if there's something different that that that's being used within our, our portfolio and potentially take that back and, and start spreading that word around the around the broader global IT community. Okay, thank you so much Michael. I hope you enjoy your time in South Africa. Thank you.